All right, here's what I think will happen if Bakhmut falls to Russian forces. Spoiler, it's not a lot. This is how Live UA map shows the situation around Bakhmut on March 2nd. Rybar also on March 2nd shows a little more progress by Russian forces to the north and east of the city, but either way, doesn't look great for Ukraine. But we do have something to point to as an example in this conflict. This last summer, Ukrainian forces found themselves in a cauldron around Severodonetsk and Lysychansk, but before it was sealed off, they were able to evacuate. And now nine months after Russia completed that encirclement, the lines are essentially unchanged. In fact, Ukraine took back a little territory to the Northwest. Of course, casualties from either side is a big area of speculation, but in all likelihood, Ukrainian forces will withdraw before they're entirely cut off. The front lines will shift a couple miles west of Bakhmut, and then this grinding style of warfare will continue just somewhere else along the line.